Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope you are doing great. I'm going to explain you really important concept relevant to unemployment and that is classical unemployment. Classical unemployment is also known as real wage unemployment. This concept was also tested in recent exam in A2 paper 4 and a lot of students were confused about this and so I decided to explain it to you. Uh, there are three reasons for classical unemployment. The, this is also known as real wage unemployment or demand deficient unemployment or disequilibrium unemployment. There are multiple names of this type of unemployment and it can be the part of cyclical unemployment as well. Okay, so there are three reasons for uh, classical unemployment. The one is minimum wage rate set by the government above equilibrium. When government sets minimum wage rate above equilibrium, it results in the gap between demand and supply of labor. So there will be extra supply of labor and there will be lesser demand for labor. And as a result, the gap between demand and supply will result in uh, unemployment of workers. Since supply is more than demand, so the workers who are not demanded in the market will face classical unemployment. And the second reason is uh, the minimum wage restricted by the monopoly trade un union above the equilibrium wage rate. Equilibrium wage rate is where demand and supply of labor are equal. And if uh, trade union tries to fix the rate above the market clearing wage, then again, it will result in uh, demand uh, will result in classical unemployment or real wage unemployment. And the third reason that is basically uh, the Keynesian concept. And as per the Keynesian school of thought, uh, if there is a decrease in aggregate demand in the economy that is generally caused by a recession or economic depressions and whenever there is decrease in aggregate demand this is also known as demand deficient unemployment and this is also known as uh, sometimes disequilibrium unemployment and this is the part of cyclical unemployment now i'm going to explain to you how these three concepts can be elaborated graphically first of all i will make a graph for minimum wage rate set by the government. If government sets minimum wage rate above equilibrium, how it will cause unemployment in the economy. So this is quantity of labor. This is origin point and on Y axis, we have the wage rate and this is demand for labor, the normal demand for labor curve that is positively sloped supply of labor curve. And this is equilibrium point E and at equilibrium point you can see the wage rate is already w and quantity of workers employed is q we can label it as l or you can label it as q as well okay so if government thinks that thinks that this wage rate is not sufficient for the workers for their efforts they are putting in so government may set minimum wage rate wm above equilibrium or market clearing wage rate so it will result in the gap between demand and supply of labor. So this is supply of labor, SL. So this is minimum wage rate. Minimum wage rate is above equilibrium, always set above equilibrium. And you can clearly see that it has resulted in the gap AB between demand and supply. So this is the surplus supply of labor. Supply of labor is greater than demand for labor. If employers are not employing workers, but workers are supplying themselves, so it means they will not be employed and they will remain unemployed. Okay, so the gap between A and B is classical unemployment or real wage unemployment. And you can uh, basically find quantity employed here as well. This is quantity demand for labor. So this much workers will be employed at wage rate WM. However, QS quantity of workers will be willing to work. Uh, they will be supplying themselves for the wage rate WM. So it means again, the gap between QD and QS is surplus supply of labor and it is causing classical unemployment. This much will be the unemployment. So you can make this graph. Uh, it was a six mark question. You can explain what classical unemployment is and then you can make graph and then you can explain it. Uh, so this this was sufficient for the, for the question that was being asked in A2 uh, paper four recently. However, the other two reasons, I'm explaining the other two reasons as well. The second reason for classical unemployment or real wage unemployment is uh, the minimum wage set by the trade unions, monopoly trade unions. Trade unions are the workers organizations, associations of workers that work for the benefits of member workers and how they set minimum wage rate above equilibrium or market clearing wage. You can make this graph as well. This is quantity of labor origin point and this is wage rate. 
and we have this normal demand for labor curve and this is supply of labor curve equilibrium is at point e where equilibrium wage or market clearing wage is w and quantity of workers employed is q now if uh, trade union restricts wage rate at w1 let's say that demand for labor has decreased so this will be the employment in the industry so again there is gap between demand and supply of labor and the different thing here is k if uh, employers want more workers beyond point b then what happens is monopoly trade unions demand wages more than the wage rate w uh, w1 so at this level you can see unemployment is this much so q this is q2 so a to b is unemployment or q1 to q is also classical or real wage unemployment however uh, this unemployment may increase the wage rate further increases uh, beyond w1 okay so this was the second thing and the third graph that you could have made for this is uh, the keynesian concept and as per the keynesian school of thought uh, whenever there is decline in aggregate demand in the economy then definitely uh, there will be de decline in the demand for labor as well so this is also known as demand deficient unemployment this is also known as uh, uh, real wage unemployment or disequilibrium unemployment and the graph for this this explanation can be like this we have quantity of labor on x this is origin point and on y axis we have the wage rate and this is normal demand for labor curve and this is normal demand for uh, supply of labor curve and equilibrium is initially at e where equilibrium wage rate is w and quantity of people employed is q now if there is decline in aggregate demand in the economy then definitely this will result in de decline in the demand for labor as well so demand for labor curve shifts inward that is uh, now dl1 and as a result you can see that uh, now the equilibrium will move to e1 and wage rate will fall to somewhere at w1 at this point and unemployment will be this much new employment will be q1 at this point people try to force the wage rate to stay at w or government forces the employers to pay wage rate w then what will happen equilibrium will not from shift from e to e1 rather there will be a, now a gap between demand and supply of labor let's say this is point a and at this point now you can see employment will be q1 so now again the gap q and q1 will be unemployment and this unemployment uh, is much more than the unemployment that could have been uh, if equilibrium had moved to e1 and wage rate has decreased to w1 what generally happens is because of decline in aggregate demand in the economy because of recession or deficiency in the demand demand for labor is low however the people who are still employed if they force the wage rate to stay at w then unemployment will be much more than it could have been if equilibrium had moved from e to e1 then this much people will have been employed and unemployment should have been this much but now because of uh, because workers are forcing the wage rate to but since in this scenario workers are forcing their wage rate to stay at w then it has increased unemployment more than the equilibrium unemployment this is also known as disequilibrium unemployment because now there is again uh, disequilibrium in the economy so in this situation when there is deficiency in the demand price level will fall and when price level fall we call it deflation and this is a uh, deflation sticky unemployment because when whenever there is deflation in the economy definitely what happens is real wage of workers increases but psychologically what people do is uh, even though the prices have decreased they will keep forcing employers to pay wage rate w1 so real wage the real wage will rise uh, because of lower prices and higher wage rate uh, but it will cause unemployment equal to this much area from a to e or from q1 to q so this is again called classical unemployment or real wage unemployment i believe this concept is now much more clear if you have any confusion then you may uh, write in the comment box and i will try to reply you as early as possible so this is it thank you so much allah face